if she gets pushed down, she'll get up and say, I'm okay. She'll go talk to her friends at school back when she was in, uh, what, uh, pre-K or what's the preschool? Um, she used to go say hi to every individual kid standing in their line. I mean, she's incredible. I mean, where we would have uh, maybe fear of being accepted or, you know, just going there, you know, the parental separation, usually kids are crying or something like that. She'll go in and just say hi to everybody. It's amazing. Maybe we got a new book from the library, or maybe she played a new game. And when we're going to bed, she'll just say, this is the best day ever. You know, something something little, like just some of the littlest things bring her, bring her the most joy. Um, and she just says these things that they're so profound. Um, she did, you know, she, she doesn't say them in that profound way because she's seven or younger, but they just mean so much more. Even Nora, sometimes, you know, I remember when Nora first started writing um, in kindergarten, she would leave notes everywhere. And <laughs> I was cleaning up one day and I found a note in the bathroom that said, Abby, what would I ever do without you? You know, and something like that was just, it kind of stops me in my tracks because it's just one of those things that it's just like, yeah, that, yeah, that could, you know, it could be a possibility, you know, and that's a, that's a big thing to say for a kindergarten student. Mm -hmm.